Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Sometimes when you're setting up your email account for the first time, it asks you if it's a POP3 or an IMAP account, and sometimes it's both. Of course, you can only access it one of two ways. They're both protocols. IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol, and it's a little newer than the old POP3 or Post Office Protocol 3 uh, that was around forever. The primary difference between these two, you're accessing the same information, you're accessing the same account, just in a different way. With IMAP, you can set up folders, you can reply to messages, you can do all these things while those messages in your email account are sitting on a server versus POP3 where the only thing you can do with a POP3 account is access your email, download it, and that's it. And then once you've downloaded it, it's off the server. With IMAP, you don't actually move it off the server. It stays on the server. The advantage of using or accessing your email account through IMAP is that, well, let's say when my dad comes to visit, he wants to check his email, but he doesn't want to download it to one of my computers. So I set up his account and say, here, we're just going to access your email account using the IMAP protocol and I've realized that that's redundant but using IMAP uh, that way the messages stay on the server you can delete what you don't want you can reply to what you want and then when you want when you go home you can download them with your uh, default email program and store them locally more and more I think email will be increasingly stored on remote services uh, as we use the internet for uh, doing many regular activities we were used to doing on the desktop um, access is getting faster server space is getting cheaper uh, and certainly more utilities are being built and bundled with uh, internet access in mind you can edit Google documents you know through the web obviously um, you, or there are more places other than Google documents where you can edit documents remotely uh, but think of the uh, the IMAP feature for accessing your inbox is a way to access that inbox everywhere, not just through one particular machine. If you're not sure if you have IMAP available for your email account, you might want to ask your email provider. Chances are they've given you POP3, but uh, uh, you know, I've actually thought for a while of, of just keeping most of my email sitting on my email server uh, just because of the fact that I access so many computers on a regular basis. I'd rather organize it all in one place and access that organization from anywhere um, than just having it downloaded on this primary machine. So that's a basic rundown between IMAP and POP3 accessing the same account using different protocols. Unfortunately this video is really boring so we're gonna give it a little cowbell. Much better. Uh, Okay, I can stop. Man, I needed that.